I'm Miriam. I'm Shane. And welcome to Story Collider. Yeah. I'm really excited to uh, get to know some storytellers I haven't met before. We had a rehearsal together. Their stories are incredible, and everybody's bringing something a little bit different to the stage tonight. So I think it's going to be a really great show. So this is about um, what I learned from my father about building a moon rover. I got into science writing by being a science editor first. You know, Story Collider, they, they coach me quite a bit and they were able to help shape the story that I'm working on. My father, the engineer, he could, uh, he could do stuff. Yeah, the story is about um, my father who was an engineer and worked at NASA. When I was even younger than that, though, um, when I was very young, I realized that uh, my father was different than other dads. He was also a polio survivor, and so uh, a lot of his lessons for me were both involving what he experienced uh, as a polio survivor, but also as an engineer who kind of uh, navigated his way through the world. Uh, he would basically learn that, um, you know, that if you can't move well on Earth, you know, try the moon. I've worked as a writer professionally, you know, since I graduated from college and I have my degree in writing and journalism. It's different from writing where you don't know how the reader is receiving it. When you do it in real life, you can see how the crowd is reacting and you really feed off of their energy. So in October 2020, my dad was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease when he was 61. And it was like this torch was being passed to me and I was assuming this new role in my family. Years before, I, I think I imagined that I would take it on. I feel very confident that I can be that supportive, empathetic, understanding, loving person because my father taught me how to do that. Thank you. So our final storyteller is a climate change scientist, entomologist who develops educational resources. This is my first time performing um, a story, a science story. I think that the reason why I got here, though, was because I'm a big fan of the show. I love the podcast, and I, I love all the stories that I hear. In Guatemala, my father was a firefighter, and in the United States, he was a janitor. In Guatemala, my mother was a nurse, and now she was working in the kitchen and in the laundry room of a hospital. So I wanted to sort of talk about my journey into science and how it's a little bit convoluted and has something to do with my identity coming to this country uh, from a different country. I felt at this point that I really wanted to be more invisible than I felt like I was in the classroom. And I soon learned that drawing allowed me to do that. Using art to be able to understand the world and then moving from art to science to continue to understand and describe and understand my place in the world. In a way, I think that entomology helped me realize that art and science were the promise and hope that my parents had talked about. Thank you. We very much appreciate all of you being here tonight. We hope that you'll come back. And again, thank all of you for making this possible.